What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries It, the show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. So here we go. Today, I'm going to be reviewing one of the brand new Mountain Dew game fuel drinks, okay? Every year, they do a tie-in with Call of Duty, or they do like a tie-in. They, they always have like their, their um, Dewmocracy, where they come out with three new flavors of Mountain Dew. And um, this this year, like I said, they teamed up with um, whatever company makes Call of Duty. I can't even remember. I have not played the Call of Duty series in years. Um, I can't remember who made it this year. I don't know if it was Treyarch, Infinity Ward, or who it was. But um, they they rotate every year. But they teamed up and do a um, do a sponsorship with um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in order to create, I believe, three new drinks. Um, one of them is um, the Cherry Citrus. I think it is. I cannot remember the other one. And then this one is what we have today, Lemonade, which is probably the most drastically different Mountain Dew that they've ever come out with, okay? Now, Mountain Dew on its own, the original Mountain Dew, is like um, kind of like a really sugary lime drink in a way. It's like lime citrus. It's kind of difficult to explain. It's almost like Dr. Pepper where you can't adequately pinpoint what it tastes like. But, um... Mountain Dew, though, like, the, they always come out with these wide variety of drinks. They have, like, Whiteout and Livewire and a bunch of different drinks. Uh, sorry if you guys have a hard time seeing me or I'm kind of, like, you know, um, kind of, like, blacked out here. Sorry. Um, it, we just had got in living in Chicago, we just got snow yesterday. Got, like, two and a half inches of it. So, like, whenever we get snow and then the next day's sunny, um, you know, the, the, the white snow reflects so brightly off the sun that it, like, obscures a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm doing it in, in the back with the blinds to the back of me rather than with the window back to me because you couldn't see anything of me. I'd just be looking like, you know, like a silhouette. You couldn't see anything. So anyway, though, let's get to it. Uh, Mountain Dew Lemonade. All right, let me get to the nutrition facts, what little nutrition it has, like non-existent nutrition. Um, and I, you gotta love how they boast very, it says, like, right on the, um, right on the back, very low sodium, right up top right there. I'll show you guys the label, too, because you probably can't see it, because there's, like, a glare right here from the blinds. Okay, let's do a little 360 right there. I really do like these new bottles that they're coming out with. You can see more of the liquid. Uh, the bottles have, like, a cooler shape to it, you know what I mean? It, like, just fits more into your hand. Not like there was anything wrong with the bottle design before, but I like these. They're just, they're just cooler, I think. Um, and they have a sleeker design. But anyway, though, the nutrition facts, as I was saying, I love how they say very low sodium, but they don't, um, you know, they're trying to like, oh, it has very low sodium, but it has a ton of calories and a ton of sugar. Don't pay any attention to that, though. Um, 290 calories per bottle, okay? So that's a lot of friggin' calories for a soda, man. My God. Anyway, uh, zero grams of total fat, 65 milligrams of sodium. 77 grams of total carbohydrates. Now, right off the bat, that was only 3% of your daily value for sodium, but that's 26 a fourth, more than a fourth of your day's worth of carbohydrates. So, that's a lot. And it's based on a 2,000 calorie diet as well. So, um, so somebody like me who doesn't eat that often, that this is going to be most of my carbs for today, is really freaking sad, okay? But um, 76 grams of sugar, my God, man. 76 grams a bottle, man. No wonder people don't. No wonder people are smart and they don't drink soda anymore. Um, and then zero grams of protein. Then it contains carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural flavor, gum, um, arabic, caffeine, potassium sorbate. That's to preserve its freshness. Sodium citrate, glycerol, est, uh, ester of rosin, calcium disodium eta to protect the flavor. Sucrose acetate. Is Obertrade or something? Yellow Five, and it's bottled in the authority of PepsiCo Inc. Purchase, um, purchase New York ten fifty uh, one zero five seven seven. I don't know why I just read the whole back, but I did. So there you go. I'll shut the hell up now. Time to drink. Time to drink it. I can already get a. I didn't even approach the bottle, and I already have like this big, very overpowering lemonade whiff. There we are. I got those codes on the bottom. Does anybody even use these codes? I don't even know even what the hell they're for. But on the bottle, on the next time you buy a bottle of soda, you get a bottle of soda. Look at the bottom, man. They almost always have codes, and nobody knows what they're for because nobody cares, and you can't even win anyway. So what the hell's the point? So anyway, though, pour it into the Bushmills glass. Keep it classy. This is gonna be weird too. Drinking like carbonated lemonade. This is gonna be strange. I don't know why, I just don't relish this thought, but who knows, it might actually be good, I don't know. 
pours a very, very faint pea green kind of color. Um, very light yellow, very, um, very gr light green, foggy, not very transparent, heavily carbonated. It smells like ginger ale almost. It's bizarre. It almost smells like ginger ale, like, like Mountain Dew and ginger ale crossed together. That's pretty weird to me. I, I mean, I don't know. I love the smell of ginger ale. I love ginger ale. You know, it's a quintessential drink when you don't feel good. But, um, no, that's what it smells like. Mountain Dew and ginger ale. Cheers. Let's try this out. It's not that bad, personally. It's not that bad to me. Um, and the only reason I say that right off the bat is because I've read some scathing reviews of this. People talking about it's way too tart, it's way too bitter. I don't get any of that. I think it's well balanced, to tell you the truth. It's not too tart, but it's also not too sweet. And I mean, given the fact that it's 76 grams of sugar and it really, the sweetness isn't like overpowering or artificial. That's definitely something to note, you know what I mean? I thought this was going to be like complete sugar, and it really is, but it doesn't like show it, you know what I mean? It doesn't like have this really sticky, gummy, you know, buildup that you get when you drink something that's really high um, high fructose corn syrup. When you drink Pepsi a lot, though, when you're like me, then you really get it, though. You really get that like stickiness. But um, honestly, this, again, lives up to it. It follows its nose in the terms of it tastes a lot like Mountain Dew and ginger ale, and I know that's a really weird combination, it's a really weird thing, but it honestly, like, tastes like that. It even has kind of, like, a, a sweet ginger aftertaste. Not like ginger beer, because ginger beer will burn. Uh, when you swallow ginger beer, it'll have, like, a burning sensation to it, because it's very, I think it's very acidic, too, so it has that, like, burning quality to it, and ginger's a spice, obviously, so it's strong in itself, but, um, it, it tastes like ginger ale, maybe with a little bit of lemonade, but not a whole lot. I mean, that's what I really get, though. I get a ginger ale taste, and I get, like, a Mountain Dew. I get, like, a ginger ale mouthfeel, and then I get, like, a Mountain Dew slightly ginger ale aftertaste. That's what it, that's what I get. And um, it's not bad, though. It's not thoroughly unpleasant like, I, you know, the reviews led me to believe. I mean, it's definitely not amazingly good. You know what I mean? And it's and it's kind of weird, though, because, like I said, I, it really isn't, it really doesn't feel like lemonade to me. And maybe it's just because I don't have, you know, it's, I'm so not, I'm not adjusted to the concept of, um, like, Mountain Dew or carbonated lemonade. It just doesn't give that impression to me. Excuse me. But, um... It just it just doesn't feel like lemonade to me. It feels more like um like Mountain Dew ginger or Mountain Dew um citrus, something like that. It just doesn't feel like lemonade to me. Um but it's not bad, that's the thing. It's it's got a decent taste to it and it's a really intriguing little beverage. Anyway, out of the four stars, I'm gonna give it two and a half. I don't love it. I think it's pretty decent though. Um, I can't see this flavor sticking around, though. I don't even know if I think it's limited edition. I don't see it's going to. The one flavor of Mountain Dew, I wanted to bring this up, though. Uh, but well, let me just finish what I was saying with this. I always get ahead of myself. Um, like I said, I, I, I like it, but I don't think that it's, uh, it lives up to its lemonade taste. It tastes something different than lemonade. And it's not a thoroughly unpleasant taste. It just doesn't have, feel very reminiscent of lemonade. But anyway, the one flavor of Mountain Dew that I really wish they would bring back, I like Voltage. I really like Code Red. Um, I like pretty much all Mount the Mountain Dew flavors to a certain degree. The one I wish they bring back, I actually have a bottle of it still, and um, I, I have a bottle. I'll probably die if I drink it because it's already two years old, over two years old. It's um the Mountain Dew Dark Berry, which came right around or came was a promotional tie-in for the um, Dark Knight Rises when that came out in July of 2012, and July 20th, 2012, I believe that's when the movie came out. But um. I still have a bottle that came comes in the old Mountain Dew bottle. It doesn't have like this kind of like um, grippable part right here. But I mean, 
Um, I wish they would bring that one back. Like I said, I have that bottle of it, and it would probably give me, like, friggin' stomach cancer and ulcers if I drank it. I don't know why. I just never drank it. It was, like, a last of its kind that I had, so I just never opened it. But, um, anyway, though, I do like Mountain Dew Lemonade. Not a bad beverage whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Steve Pulaski tries it. Gonna keep trying to do these videos. Coming up on winter break from my college right now. I mean, while I am taking one class over winter break, I'll still have a lot more free time, which means you guys get more content. You guys get more reviews. Hopefully more videos, can't guarantee it, but I will try and make more videos as time goes on. Um, and you guys are getting a lot more you know, writing content, blogging content. Um, like I said, check out the description, check out my YouTube page. You guys can see it all. Thank you guys again for the support. I'll talk to you later. Bye.